Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be discussing about gyroscopes and this video would be in continuation uh, with the one which I had earlier shot which were on uh, gyroscopic precession and gyrotop. So I'll be attaching the links to those videos in the description tab for all of you to check out. So first of all I'll be discussing of all the components that are involved and how you can create the mates and then we'll be studying how you can create the simulation of this. So firstly, uh, the making of all the parts that are involved here are pretty easy. Uh, you just need to use the extrude option in the features tab. So there's not nothing much into it. And uh, the naming of the parts is as follows. So this is the outermost string. This is the inner ring. This is the innermost string. And this is the rotor. So first of all, I'll just hide uh, some of the components so that I can explain you how the mating has to be done. So if we see for the outermost string, uh, what you what you need to do is first of all uh, make the axis of this uh, to, uh, using the perpendicular mate option to the top plane so that the axis always remains perpendicular top plane and this ring rotates about this axis. So you can go to the mate option, enable this perpendicular mate and select this axis and the top plane to achieve this. So uh, now next what we'll do, we'll make the uh, inner ring with this one. So first of all this hollow region, the axis of this hollow region has to be mated with the um, cylindrical portion of this inner ring and therefore uh, you have to continue with all uh, with all of the other components so as to achieve uh, the final assembly. So after uh, mating all, all the rings and all the co components together, uh, we'll create uh, the simulations. So first of all, in this motion study, uh, what I have done is the fact that I've enabled all the solid body contacts options. So first of all, there will be three solid body contacts. First of all, the first contact is basically between the rotor and the innermost ring. The second will be between the innermost ring and the inner ring. And the third one is between the outermost ring and the inner ring. And the torque has been applied to the innermost ring. And uh, for the rest of the motion studies, I just want to make one thing clear that uh, the torque has always is always applied on the innermost ring. And uh, all the solid body contact options are already enabled. So first of all, here uh, the outer ring is fixed and the inner rotor has not been given any initial angular speed. So this is not at all counterintuitive. Uh, whenever the torque is applied, the ring would basically bend in, in that direction. And so uh, going on to the next animation, here what I have just changed is the fact that uh, I have applied an angular speed to the ring about 100 revolutions per minute. So we'll play this animation. So here what we observe is the fact that uh, even after the torque being applied, the ring will try to uh, resist it. Uh, but since the RPM is quite low, so the axis of the, the ring basically bends over. Uh, but if the uh, revolutions uh, per minute or the angular speed of the rotor is kept pretty high, then the axis, then the axis of the uh, rotor will assume its original uh, direction. Uh, so going on to the next motion study here, I have enabled uh, the motion of this outer ring as well. Uh, here the rotor is again uh, given a zero angular speed and only the outer ring is given uh, an angular speed of one revolution per minute. So again, we'll play on the motion. So here as well, uh, wherever the direction of torque is, the ring would bend in that direction. So again, that's not counterintuitive at all. And therefore, uh, we'll just move on to the next motion study. So here again, uh, I have applied a rotary motor on the outermost ring. So I've given it a, an angular speed of 10 revolutions per minute and the uh, the rotor is basically given an angular speed of 100 revolutions per minute. So after enabling all the solid body contacts, uh, this is how the animation will actually proceed. So 
here what we actually observe is the fact that the rotor basically assumes its uh, direction it, despite the fact that the torque is being applied so this is known as gyroscopic precession and it just follows the newton's first law that a uh, body will continue to be in a state of rest or motion unless it's basically subjected by an external torque so uh, that's it uh, thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like it i'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks